You are listening to Conversation with Disease, The Energetics of the New Human Soul, Part 4. That's very empowering. And it makes me think of a quote I took from Soul Imprints, a recording you did recently on the art of transformation. And in that recording, you give various, very soul-empowering phrases to say for just 10 minutes, once a day, if that's all a person has. And one that I think can speak to many of us is this one. I allow myself to feel everything. I allow myself to release everything. I allow myself to become who I am here to be. Yes, and what we would like people to notice is as they listened to your sentences or if they heard that recording and they heard us uh, giving you those sentences, notice how you feel. For some of you, you felt liberated and enhanced, but for some of you, that sentence, I allow myself to feel everything, put you straight into fear. You immediately panicked or worried that you feeling everything would mean you'd feel the worst. So that is good information. You can then ask yourself, are there things in my past or my present that I'm not willing to feel or that I haven't yet felt and that is what I am avoiding? Or is that just the human conditioned mind that you are supposed to keep yourself safe, not feel too much? Uh, Don't do this, don't do that. What about this? What if you heard that sentence, I allow myself to feel everything? And what you realized was you were going to feel the highest levels of bliss, connection, and well-being than you ever have in your life. We will tell you this. Those of you listening to this, especially if you are still listening to us all this time later, you are of a high vibrational mind. And the reason we have to tell you that is because only, and this is important, only 10% of you listening had a positive and uplifting response to the words, I allow myself to feel everything. Only 10% of you. And you are a high vibrational group. Now, that is not a reflection on you. That's a reflection on your planet. If you are high vibrational, then that tells you how few people on the planet are free of the idea that their feeling everything could be mm, not a bad thing, but a good thing. For most on the planet, you have been taught about the feelings you are supposed to fear. And very little time has been given to you on how you cultivate or open to good or high feelings. And we don't mean mm, 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 hedonistic high feelings that don't last. We mean peace. We mean sustained well-being. We mean a sense of expansion. And many of you now, more than ever before on the planet, are practicing those, which is wonderful. You're doing it through meditation. You're doing it through presence exercises. You're doing it through healing work. You're doing it through music. You're doing it through so many ways. But notice that you all have to give yourself concentrated time of the day where you cultivate that. And for most of you, even those of you who are really doing a lot of work in that area... It might be two or three hours of your 16 to 18 wakeful hours that you were doing that. So the percentage of time that humans are currently allowed to feel expanded and in well-being is very low on this planet. Now, rather than anything we have just said depressing you, so again, watch the way you react and understand that any emotional reaction you have to anything starts to feed your beliefs and your beliefs start to either impede or allow your ability to manifest. So notice the reaction you've had. And now we want to take you back to something we said several minutes ago. Understand the importance of your role on this planet. Not your role in a way that someone else perceives you or someone else compliments you. No, if you are one of the high vibrational on this planet, and we have just laid it out to you that even you have a certain clamp on how much you believe you can be in well-being or peace or expansion. Even you! Do you understand why you're needed? Do you understand why you cultivating that in and for yourself then emanates it into the world? That's very important for you to get 
those of you who especially feel despair about what you see the planet going through right now, do not just sit and watch and react. Become the antidote. That is what you are all here to play out in this transitionary time on Earth. You are here to become the antidote you think the Earth and people needs. <laughs>